I'm Audra Monk, the Crafty Yogi, and welcome to the Crafty Corner and today's product spotlight on In the Pines. Ta-da! All right, so here's In the Pines. This is a bundle in the new coming, um, what are they calling it? August to December mini. We're going to still call it a holiday mini catalog. But anyway, so it's a photopolymer set. I can't even show them to you because they're all on blocks. Here we go. So these are the clear uh, stamps. So I do recommend, um, what do you call it? A foam mat for doing those. Oh, and you know what? I had an idea. Okay. I think I'll be able to do it. I'll just um, have to use the other ones. And then there are dies. And these dies are really cool because some cut out the stamped images and some cut out trees and some cut out little uh, hills or snowy hills or whatever you want to call it. Okay. <laughs> this is on your strong maybe list, Casey. Good to know. All right, so what I'm gonna show you is how cool um, this bundle is. And I like it because it is holiday-y, but I think you could do a lot with it. So what I did, let's see, let's show you the different pieces. So this is this tree and it cuts it out. So the general idea would be you do like this, take a shape and cut it out and maybe back it with, you know, some color of green or blue or purple or, you know, whatever you want. So I think that's really cute. So we're going to maybe stick that on a card. The other ones that cut out shapes, there are two and they cut out these little trees. This is in shaded spruce. It's also, okay, I love all the colors, but this, I, this is one of my favorite, and I like mossy meadow, that's what that one is. But look at this. My, I had the embossing folder sitting next to my uh, die cutting machine. Can you see that? I embossed it with this little one, which is in the holiday catalog, and I don't even know what it goes with, but it was laying by my die cutting machine, and I thought, how cool is that? It has so much texture and it looks really cool. So you can do that. Okay, so you have those. Hi, Nancy. <laughs> and then look at this. So all I did, and I'm gonna show you how to stamp these in case you don't know. It, um, there's two step stamping, but I have some cool ideas. Um, these trees, this is one of every tree. Hmm, I didn't die cut that one as well, but I think I can still use it. So they are stamped in Mossy Meadow and then stamped off Mossy Meadow. And this is soft suede for that little uh, trunk. And then I die cut them all out. So that's what those all look like. And then here are the two hills. So there's one with lots of bumpies. And then we've had one like this before. This is a quite common Stampin' Up! one. So let me take this one away. See how that could provide a ground for your trees. Okay, so those are the pieces that you get from the die cuts. So let's stamp a couple so I can show you how this works. And then I meant to try out our new aqua painters. I don't know, they might have a new name, but I forgot to get them out. So um, I think I have one of the old ones here with a little bit of water in it because I had I had a mental thought would work. Okay, so we need a piece of paper. All right, so how I did these, let's do a different color though. Let's do, Let's go garden green. No, actually, we're gonna go rogue. Let's try pretty peacock. Okay, let's try pretty peacock. <laughs> you like the embossing, Casey? That was purely, um, what do you call it, fortuitous. Like you look down and I'm like, ooh, what if I emboss that? I mean, those are so cool. I don't know, I really like that. Um, the hard part is attaching these. I probably should have put that adhesive sheet on the back and that would help those go up a little bit easier but anyway okay so let's pick let's do this way all right so this is like the medium tree get off ink okay so I'm gonna stamp it in pretty peacock okay like that it's super cute it really is you could leave it like this you could color it like this or the stamps are made for two-step stamping. What if I take Pretty Peacock and I stamp it off? And then, and these line up really easily, I felt. So you could totally do this on your Stamparatus if you're doing all. Look at how cute that tree is. That tree is adorable. Oh my, I just want to hug it. I do, I want to hug it. It is so cute. Okay, so you could do that. Sorry, I'm just like admiring my tree. You could totally do that. But 
if your tree, let's try a couple things. Where'd the tree go? Do I have more paper? You know, you think a woman would gather her, her supplies before she does a video. All right, let's turn it this way because I got room. Okay, so what if you stamped your tree, and this is just regular Whisper White, and then you took a blender pen, make sure it's clean, and you, oh my gosh, look at that, and you colored it in. So if you need to get your coloring fixed or you want this lighter look, so I am just very lightly taking some of the ink and spreading it around. Oh my gosh, who knew Pretty Peacock was gonna be so cute for these trees? Oh my goodness. Look at that. How cute is that? Let me show you close. Look at that, look even closer. It's adorable, it's beautiful. Oh, I can see so many cards made with this. <laughs> Nancy, you're a tree hugger too? <laughs> yes, I wanna hug this tree. This tree is cute. Okay, so you could do that, but here's what I was thinking. And you know what, we might go with the pretty peacock idea. Okay, so I cut out some, uh, oh wait, before I do this, hold on, let me show you one more. Let me show you one more. And I'll just do a little one, okay? But I need, I was using this as a background piece. Okay, so yes, I could stamp and die cut them. That's really cute, right? But what if I don't wanna die cut? What if I wanna do something quicker? What if I just wanna build a little scene? Let's use this one. And apparently I'm gonna use Pretty Peacock because I think it looks really pretty. Okay, so what if I just stamp this? Now watch this. Okay, so that's really cute. Here's the trees that fill it in. So I'm gonna stamp them off, and then I'm gonna fill it in. But then, watch this, what if I move it over and fill it in to make like trees in the background? Let me put that up here. I should probably zoom this in. Look at that. You could totally do that. So that one is stamped off twice, and this is stamped off once. So, um, and it'd probably be easier to see if I didn't have that. So you can build a little scene and easy peasy make a cute little card and you could put it in a, you know, a cute die cut or a frame, anything you want. All right, now let's try my other idea, which I did not test, but it should totally work. So this is shimmery white paper. You could also, oh my gosh, it looks so cute with all those trees. I'm going to zoom us in just a little. You could also um, use watercolor paper. What? If, which one do I want? Let's go with this big one first. What if, and I'm like, I got green ink on my hand. What if I stamped this and then used Aqua Painter, old or new, to paint this? So it's just wet, I'm not squeezing it. I'm just spreading the ink around. Oh my goodness, isn't that adorable? So what if you created a scene? Okay, so let's keep this going. I probably shouldn't have wet the first one, but we'll see. And where's my little extra piece? So when you're using your foam mat, you wanna have something behind it if you're gonna stamp off. Where are the three little guys? three not this one not this one the ones that would fill them in I'm pretty sure I, oh here it is I'm like I'm pretty sure I used it hi Kathleen welcome so what if way up here I put a little tree and I'm gonna actually put another tree okay and then we're gonna color those just lightly with our aqua painter Okay, let's see what other size tree do we have um, oh, we have that tall tree I swear I'm losing my head here okay so what if we put this one at the back I don't want to get it too crowded or they might all just run into each other and be this giant greenish blob so I'm hoping they're gonna keep their treeness I love all kinds of trees
Ah, that's the middle of that one. Okay, so you could build your trees this way. So you could totally watercolor them. I think that there's a lot of fun, where's my lid? A lot of fun that you could have with your trees. Look at those, those are really pretty. And that gives you different colors. And like I said, if you like to color, you could color in just the stamped. You could even just, let's get another, do I have another little piece? All right, so this is just like called Stamp the Tree Day. Let's leave this under here, okay. Aha, uh -huh. this, this, oh guys, I didn't talk about the Maryland Stampers event. We, the WOW project, the big project is going to be a fall sampler. It is beautiful. Well, I mean, I made it, so I think it's beautiful, but um, yeah. Okay, so what if we just stamp some trees on there? And then, you know, that, and then what could you do? Well, of course, I would need a shaded spruce one. What if you took one like this and put it in the front die cut out? So there's a lot you can do with this. I think that this is a great, great set. So let's attempt to make a card with this um, cut out. Let me close up this ink pad. We'll make a thinking of you. It has two greetings in this set, uh, season's greetings and thinking of you. Oh, and before, before I forget, I did make a complete card to show you. Ta-da! Oops, let's scroll out a little bit okay look at this card this my team meeting we're doing an online team meeting tonight and I'm gonna teach them how to make this cute uh, triangle flip card and so when I was practicing I thought well let me practice with this cool tree set so look how cute that is this did not take hardly any time except for figuring out how to put the DSP on so in my team meeting we'll talk about it and then maybe I'll make a video um, on maybe on Friday we'll make one of these but use something else uh, but look how cute those little trees are. I just stamped them in the back and then I stamped one on the front, put season's greetings. This um, greeting is from the, I don't know, that big mega suite with the coffee cups, which I don't know what it's called. Hugs for you or something like that. Casey, we have watercolor paper and we have shimmery white, which is made to watercolor on too. She was asking about the paper. So um, yes, we have a couple different papers in the catalog. But we're going to make this in my team meeting tonight, so it's a fun way. So that's to show you that I have made a complete card with this set, but now we're going to try this. So I am going to just attach this. This is um, Mossy Meadow. Let's put this on. I'm just going to put a little glue around the edge. So you could use any kind of adhesive you want, but sometimes when it's something like this, I feel like glue is just easier to use. Okay, and then we're just gonna add some ribbon and a greeting and some pretty paper. We should probably use some paper. So a cool thing sometimes, so I like the way Stampin' Up! does things. So um, when they put everything in a suite together and everything matches, I think that's super keen because, you know, I probably should have put a little adhesive back there, but we're just gonna be okay with that. Um, I think that is super cool because it all matches, but sometimes it's hard to go out of that box. And when they do these standalone sets, like this doesn't have a specific paper, but did that paper not look beautiful with it? Even had little trees. Um, this is the paper from the one with little houses. See, I gotta learn the names. <laughs> I haven't even learned the names from the annual catalog yet. Um, so, but what I thought we would do is, what is this paper called? This is in the annual catalog, it's called In Good Taste. This is a great paper set. <laughs> You're welcome, Casey. Um, and so it has a lot of cool texture paper. Ooh, let's see. So I'm gonna go with a nice wood, and we are just gonna cut this, your standard, this is upside down, standard uh, four by five and a quarter. So we're just gonna cut it down here at four. I love all the textures in this paper set. And if you like wood paper, this is a great set to have. That does not look like four. No, oh, it is four, okay. Four by five and a quarter. Okay, and then we need a paper for the back. Let's see, so cause see this is what I'm, Look at this, look how simple that is. And we need a little thing to stamp the greeting on. I think we're gonna go, we're gonna go with the same green. So let me get a piece of Mossy Meadow. Ta-da! And then we're gonna, linen thread is the way to go. You can use it for everything. Okay, let's 
put this on. Oh, but you know what? I think it needs that extra layer. So we're gonna cut this a hair smaller. Sometimes when it's dark on dark for me, I'm not such a super fan. So I'm gonna cut this an eighth of an inch smaller. On two sides. Okay, and then let's see, I think I might have a piece of very vanilla because that's what I used on the front because sometimes I try to challenge myself to use vanilla. I'm definitely more attracted to the white, so will this fit on? Yes, it will. Did I cut that one straight? That's pretty straight. Okay, but see how when you add that little bit of vanilla, it, it brightens. Oh, that's so cute. It brightens the card up. And then, so we need a slip of... Hi, Anne. Welcome. Oh, yes, the paper is amazing. I'm looking at the comments, guys. Sorry. Um, the paper is amazing, and it's a big pack. All right, I'm looking for a little piece of very vanilla. Um, oh, and let me see. Okay, here's one. We'll stamp the greeting. So, for demonstrators, and I don't think, you know, I might give one as a prize. For demonstrators, we can order this now. The little punch, they, I mean, punch, the little trimmer. They must have had some left. So, we're going to go thinking of you. What color should we do? I think we should, okay, we can't do red or it'll look Christmassy. I was attempting to make it not look Christmassy, but gosh darn it, you could totally... What if you put one of those little gold stars on the top of that tree and a season's greeting across the bottom? You could make that Christmassy. But I was going to attempt to make it non-Christmassy. So I think, but I kind of feel like I want a color. What kind of color would you? You know what? I'm going to go, I'm going to go blue. Let's try that. Otherwise, I'll do soft suede or um, early espresso. I like this thinking of you. I'm always a fan when we get a thinking of you um, stamps because they're great to, yay. Oh yeah, I like that in blue. That always doesn't make me happy. <laughs> so, so that was Night of Navy. And then we're gonna use some linen thread, which you should always stock up on linen thread. I think it costs $5. You should have a good supply. Okay, hopefully, you know what, let's shake that. Hopefully that was dry enough to put on there. All right, because I don't want to smear it. That looks pretty even. But yes, yeah, so demonstrators can buy this. Um, I might have to do some kind of incentive and maybe I could give one as a gift. I think they're $10. I can't give huge gifts because you know I still don't have the uh, most customers in the world, but I'm getting there. So let's slide this in. And this, my friend, sorry to use a bunch of new things, but this is our new, you know how we have in the annual catalog, we got this one, which makes these cool ends. We got one that makes a pennant in and one make, that makes the other end. And I love it because I am a big fan of the little piece with the greeting. Now, if you wanted to get fancy on this card, you know what would look really cute is if um, we, oh, no, what you can't emboss in cream. Um, I was thinking you could, but you could do like a uh, white and it would probably look good or gold letters. Yeah, that'd be cute. Okay, so let's put this together. This is such a cute little easy card. All right, I should surely have some adhesive here. <laughs> I have more customers than you, Lisa. <laughs> ah, I know. And then actually, it's a, a wonderful, wonderful thing. Most of my customers join my team, which makes me super happy because then I know they're committed to all of the fun, but it does change things a little bit, but that is okay. And I'm actually looking forward. We haven't had a team meeting in a little while. We're going to have one tonight so a few people can join in. And it'll be fun to check up with everybody. All right, and I still have it 100%. I saw a demo post a video. Aha, that's what I'm not doing. I got to pull it off a little bit. Okay, so let's see if Audra can put this on straight. That is always questionable. All right, that looks straight at the top. Let's hope. All right, it's not straight on the side, but it's okay. It's on one side. I'll take it. Okay, and then I'm going to put this down. Oh, 
I think it is you have to do the little check mark thing, but just, just soft. You don't have to go crazy. Look at that. Right here on camera, I figured out how to use my adhesive. It's like Fast Fuse a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to put the narrow side to the right. I read somewhere once, and I don't know if it's true, but when you look at something, your eye is drawn to the top left corner, so that one should always be straight. If the other ones aren't as straight, see I'm real narrow right there. It should have been over a little bit. Um, it won't notice. And then I'm going to put this, oh, but where's my thing? I think I want to add the, the linen thread around the back piece. Okay, so let me grab some linen thread. That's this stuff. I love this stuff. Hi, Michelle. Welcome. All right, so let's see how to do this. So we're going to go around one. Nope, not enough. I like to go around twice with linen thread. I think it looks pretty. Okay, and then we're just going to, I'm going to just tie it in a knot so I can just kind of snip it close. Hopefully my knot is going to be over here outside of my little banner. Yes, and holiday catalogs are in. So everyone that, um, the people that ordered my whale flip book, I'm all, I've got so much work to do in the next couple days. In our yoga studio, we have reopened uh, with small classes and I'm doing tons of cleaning and tons of videoing and tons of editing. So my days have changed. Four days a week I have to go into the studio in the morning. So, and then I gotta make myself work on craft stuff when I get home. So it's good and, and just also not quite as good. Our, ah, there we go, I like that. Okay, and then we need dimensionals on this little guy. So if I am, I think I said that before, if I'm ever late on emailing you back or um, getting back to you in a message, feel free to send me a second one if it's been a day and you haven't heard, you know, been over 24 hours and you haven't heard from me. Oh, because that's how we read, Lisa? Okay, good. Good to know. But yeah, I had read that somewhere that it's that top left corner you need to have straight. She said it's because that's how we read. And I'm going to do it like that. Okay, and then all I'm going to do is put this guy on. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Okay, and it's always good to get a little adhesive on the back. Woo! It's so sticky. But don't get it all on your hands, which I just did. And there we go. You could make this like a birthday card for your nature loving tree hugging friend. Although I kind of feel like I don't know if we have any little uh, embellishments that are dark. Let me look. Oh, you know what? Little tiny gold. What are they? Here we go. Ooh. I'm going to go, no, I'm going to go gold. These are called metallic pearls. Oops, I know there's an open one in here. I had to get them their own little bag because somehow I got a bunch of packs that were half open. Okay. Oh, you know why? Oh, because I see. It comes in gold and silver. Look at me not knowing that it did that. Okay. I mean, I obviously did know. I just didn't remember. All right. And we're going to, oh, I wanted the gold ones. And we're going to put three of these little guys on here just to, I want one here just to see sparkle this up. And I don't think that makes it Christmassy just because it has embellishments, but it certainly could make it Christmassy. So this is a super fun set. There we go. Called In the Pines. Oops, hold on. Let me get this off. Okay. All right. So let's put the two cards that I made. So here are two examples. They actually look really different. Uh, we have all of these fun tree elements, lots of ways. Ooh, look at this dry. Isn't that pretty? I like it. It's still a little bit wet. I'll let that dry and see if I can make that into something. But this is, uh, hi, this is the uh, In the Pine set. Um, I hope that you like it. It will be available for ordering starting August 3rd for customers, and it's available now for demonstrators. So if you are a demonstrator, you can certainly order it. If you do have questions, comments, requests, you need a catalog, let me know. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I was just making sure there were no more comments I needed to answer. Thank you for watching. I'm super glad. I will see you next time. Stay crafty.